In our morning rounds, changing your DNA. Our parents give us everything from dimples to a higher risk for some diseases. But according to the new book, Inheritance, our genes are also influenced by our lives. Where we live, what we eat, and how we deal with others can alter our DNA and even affect your children. The author is Dr. Sharon Mawalam. He's here and joins us at the table. Let me tell you something. After I read this book, I started comparing my thumbs and my big toes. I guess right, I'm okay. Right, right, right. But you tell a funny story in the book about when you go to dinner parties, you're looking at people's faces. You are really studying so much so that your wife has said, knock it off. What are you looking for? Well, it's so difficult for Mother Nature to make a face that there's sometimes there's small little clues, these little kind of subtleties. It could be just the distance between someone's eyes that can kind of connect to a genetic condition that you may never have realized that you have. For example? So, for example, there's one called Noonan syndrome where the eyes are a little bit too far apart. And now I don't want everyone at home to get worried when if their <laughs> eyes are too far apart. There's a lot of what we call normal variation in people. And we see that because, you know, we inherit things from our family. And one thing, if people can look at their pinkies, for example, and put them together. So mine are crooked. Yeah. I don't know if you guys, oh, I see a little bit crooked there. They separate at the top. How about yours? That's straight. This is what I That's did straight. Too, yeah. Okay, so yeah. what does that mean? So, so this is, has a, oh, a nice technical name, but again, it's another normal variation that runs through families. But when you put all these pieces together, you can then come up with a genetic diagnosis that you may not have even realized you had. And it's really important, really powerful. We often don't sit down with our families and say, you know, what did Aunt May pass away from? Yeah. We, don't, we don't draw out a family tree. And, and this is actually one of the most powerful things we can do is to figure out what our relatives actually had, what medical conditions they had, because then we can reflect back and say, are we at risk from the same conditions? Take that information to our doctors and really change our genetic destiny. You say we can change our DNA, and I thought, what are you talking about? You can change your DNA and your, in, in your genetics. How so? So everything we do in our lives has effect on our genes. Our genes kind of get turned off and on. We call that expression. And so whatever we eat and what we experience can then impact that. And, you know, one common example that we typically, you know, hear a lot about is bullying. Everyone now is concerned about bullying. And a recent study actually found that when you take identical twins, one gets bullied and the other doesn't, and you compare, when you look at their DNA, you see these changes, these off and on changes, these imprints on the DNA that happened due to the bullying years later. So you may have completely gotten over it psychologically, but your genes don't forget. Because there's a chemical reaction with cortisol that then influences the genes. Yeah, and, and we don't really understand the full details of it, but what it seems to be as, as if that trauma gets imprinted because it's so important. But if you have something like a BRCA mutation, right, right that may lead to pancreatic breast cancer, yes. how can you change what you do to get rid of that mutation? Right. And so today, really, we don't have the technology, but the, one of the most powerful things coming back again is doing that family tree. You don't have to get fancy genetic testing done. You can just, you know, put that family tree out and start kind of tracing back branches. And if you see certain branches of your family, you know, young women with breast and ovarian cancer, that should maybe trigger you that you might have inherited a mutation that predisposes you as well and get tested. Thank you, Dr. Malam. Great to have you here.